so lcd display so let's start with the lcd so what it mean by lcd liquid crystal display sir okay so fine so this is nothing but a liquid crystal display so before starting with the liquid crystal display so we'll discuss some other types of display also okay so normally so displays are used to uh, display the some information like uh, you can display the alphanumeric character so that is nothing but you can display the numbers or you can display the character or you can display the special symbol also so we have the another type of lcd also so which can display the graphic display okay so basically we uh, if you are going to display images or video so the uh, there are comes under the other category of displays okay so basically so display will have three types okay basically so it has three types so what are those so what are the uh, three types of displays are available in the seven segment display so why we are move, uh, moving forward to the lcd display sir seven segment only display the limited characters like 0 to 9 sir so he it will display the limited character so okay fine so what are those so it will display only limited characters so that will start from 0 to 9 then so a can, to f so a to f okay fine so in using a seven segment display we can display only the limited character like you can display the whole numbers okay from 0 to 9 there is no problem and you can also display the only limited character like a to f only so if i want to display all the character let's say a to z okay so it is not possible using this kind of display so or you can also display the special symbols like add symbol or as symbol so this is not possible in the seven segment display so that is the disadvantage in the seven segment display so that's why you are moving forward to the another uh, advancement of display is called liquid crystal display okay so then we'll come to the lcd part okay so as the name suggests that uh, liquid crystal display so so it will work based on the liquid crystals so okay uh, so internal operation of your dis lcd is so based on the liquid crystals so we must use a liquid crystal to form an, a, a dot matrix so using that dot matrix we can display the character or alphanumeric character basically lcd display is called as an alphanumeric character so you can see here so it can be called as an alphanumeric character display so what it means so alphanumeric means so we can display character as well as we can display the numbers so that is nothing but the alphanumeric character display okay so even though we can display the special symbols also using this lcd display so but we cannot display the graphic displays so like images or videos okay so it will it will won't support the character uh, graphic display okay so here you can display only alphanumeric characters so that is the uh, one of the disadvantages in the lcd display also okay so now we'll discuss so there are different uh, categories of lcds are available in the market so we can use or you can choose the particular display for your particular op operation or particular project okay so let's see what are those so we have 16 cross 2 lcd display okay. okay so first one we have 16 cross 2 lcd display and then we will have 20 cross 4 lcd display and we have 32 cross 8 lcd display so these are the different categories are available in the market okay so what it will indicate then so 16 cross 2 lcd display is nothing but the 16 will indicate the number of column and 2 will indicate the number of rows okay so this will indicate number of rows and this will indicate number of columns so that means so here uh, column will indicate the number of character 
okay number of character display per line okay it will display number of character per row or you can say that or per line okay so that is nothing but in each row we can able to display the how much character or how many character so we can uh, display the 16 character in each row so totally we have two rows so that is nothing but we can display up to 32 character at the same time on your 16 cross 2 lcd display so that is the indication of 16 cross 2 lcd display okay here uh, like the 16 cross 2 lcd display we have here 20 columns and 4 rows and here we have the 32 columns and 8 rows so if you want to display more number of characters so then you can choose the particular lcd display okay so here we will discuss only 16 cross 2 lcd display okay so that is nothing but so you can able to uh, display so 32 character at the same time so you can also display more than 32 character but at the same time you are able to display only 32 character so that is the meaning here okay so then i uh, will move forward to the uh, pin description of the 16 cross 2 lcd display so your display will look like this okay so it has okay uh, this is 16 cross 2 lcd display so then it has 16 pins on single side okay so it will include 16 lines so like this and 16 okay so there are total 16 pins are available in your 16 cross 2 lcd display and these pins are available only on the single side so this kind of package you can call it as an sop package okay so like uh, we may heard about the word called dip right so dip means what normally we learn the name called DIP package so like a 40 pin PI, a DIP package or 28 uh, DIP package right so here DIP means dual in line package SOP means single outline package so if any IC will have the pins on single side so you can call it as an SOP package if the IC will have pins on both sides so you can call it as an DIP package okay so your LCD is in the form of SOP package. So that's why your uh, LCD will have the pins on single side. Okay. So it will start with 1 and 16. So there are one, totally 16 pins are available. The first pin will indicate the ground. Okay. This is the ground pin. The first pin on your LCD is ground pin. And second pin is VCC. And third pin is used for contrast. So contrast means here I'll use the word contrast. Okay. So contrast, or you can say that brightness. So if you want to increase or decrease uh, the brightness of your LCD using the third pin. Okay. So how you are going to increase or decrease the brightness so using the variable register? So like so this is the variable register okay so one pin is uh, uh, coupled with the ground and another pin is coupled with vcc and the third pin is called variable okay so this variable line should be connected to the third pin of your lcd display so then we can control the brightness of your lcd display so then after that we have the rs pin okay so then we have the rw pin so Keep note on these points, okay? So the first pin, uh, so the fourth pin is RS pin, and fifth pin is the RW pin, and next pin is EN pin, okay? So after that, so we have data lines. So like uh, D not to D seven, okay? So there are totally eight data lines are available on your LCD display. Okay, these are the eight data lines. 
so then last two pins are used for anode and cathode so these two pins are used for backlight okay so anode and cathode is used for the backlighting for your lcd display so backlight okay now we'll discuss uh, these uh, three control lines so, so that are called as an rs rw and the enable pin en pin basically okay so rs means register select okay rs is nothing but register select and rw is read write read and or write and then en is nothing but enable so we have the control lines so these three uh, lines are we can call it as an control lines and d0 to d7 are called as an data lines so why we are using control lines and data lines so basically we can refer or we can uh, imagine so every microcontroller or every microprocessor they will include three types of buses right which are those anybody know the answer so your microcontroller microprocessor so that will contain three kinds of buses basically for doing the particular operation okay so what are those buses any idea address bus so address bus then data bus data bus, data data bus. control bus okay fine thank you uh, so control bus so why we require these uh, three types of buses so we can find out these three types of buses in every microcontroller or every microprocessor so what is the need of these buses okay so there should be a purpose so if you want to uh, fetch an address so we require an address bus if you want to fetch the data so we require an a data bus so then why we require control bus right so for uh, accessing the or fetching the address we require an address bus for fetching the data so we require an a uh, required an a data bus so then why we require control bus So uh, this point is very important. Okay. So, so if you want to fetch address or if you want to fetch data, so how you are going to control this uh, fetching the address and the data means so using the control lines. So the control lines will define. So the processor has to access whether uh, either it can access address bus or it can uh, access the data bus. So this will be controlled by this control buses. So that's why we require these three types of buses in every microcontroller, every microprocessor. Okay. So here like that. So in the LCD display, we have will have the only two buses. So one is control lines and another one is the data lines. Okay. Here we don't want to use the address bus. So that's why we will have the control lines and the data lines. Okay. So now. So these control lines will control the only operation. So which kind of operation the LCD should do. So that will be controlled by the these control lines. And the what is the use of data lines then? The actual information will transfer from your microcontroller to the LCD through these data lines only. So that purpose we require in a data lines. Okay. Is that clear? So control lines and data lines. Okay. Now so register select is used uh, your lcd display basically will operate on uh, two modes so one is command mode and the data mode okay so first of all if you want to display anything on the lcd display we have to provide the some command to understand okay so then uh, so first we have to understand the lcd display what type of operation it can do so how we are going to understand the lcd using some basics of commands okay so basically we will use the commands to understand the operation of lcd display so here for like we have multiple commands so here i will choose so here so we have 0 x 38 command for enabling the all cells on the lcd display all the cells means so here we have 32 cells right basically so we have two rows okay basically we have the two rows 
and 16 columns so like this so here totally 16 columns so if you want to enable all the cells or if you want to use all the cells on the LCD display so we have to provide this command okay so or if you want to display the particular character on the first row and the first column here I will start with the here okay so if you want to print like this so then we have the another command to display like this manner so again we will use the command called 0x80 so this is the command so it will print the particular character on the first row and first column like this okay if I want to display this same information on the second line so just assume that I want to display the this information in the second line so then we have the another command again so like that so you want to uh, perform in a particular operation so first we have to provide an a okay first we have to provide an a particular command so after that we can go for the particular operation so for printing okay let's welcome let's continue with the topic so to provide or to work on any operation so just we have to provide other some command basic commands okay so that will initialize your lcd display basically okay so after that we can provide the data so after that it will display the particular data what we are sending okay so that purpose we require in a register select so if you want to operate in the command mode so we have to use this register select if you are working on the data mode again we have to use the this register select so here so if you are making this rs pin as low okay so if you are making this rs pin as high so then it will be in the command mode okay so if you are making this pin as an low so then it will operate on the data mode so basically so if you are making this rs pin as an high so then whatever the information we are sending so your lcd display will assume that so these are the commands okay so that will not display on the LCD display so that it will take that uh, information as a command so then it will uh, set the particular operation internally okay so if you are making this RS pin as a low so then whatever the information we are sending so LCD display will understand that so this is the data I want to display on the LCD display okay so this is the operation will carry internally okay so that purpose we required in a register select register so then we have the read write so here so we will have the two types of operation we can read the information or we can write the information you are basically so lcd display is used to write the information most of the case okay so you are making this pin as an high so it will be in the read mode okay read mode so if you are making this rw as an low so then it will be in the write mode okay so then so what is the use of enable then so en is nothing but enable register so why we require this enable register so just assume that so if i am sending the a character first okay so just assume so i am sending a character at the initial so then i want to change the a data so now i will send the b data so if you want to change if you want to make a effect on lcd display so this changes so then we have to make this enable high to low ones so then only your LCD display will understand that there is a new data okay so if you are making this enable high to low ones so then your LCD display understand that so there is a new data so then it will change that data on your LCD display okay so that purpose we require these three control lines so register select is used to select whether it will be operates on the command mode or data mode so rw register will used for whether you are reading uh, we are in the reading mode or, or writing mode okay so then enable register will uh, tell that so if you want to change the any data so then we'll use this enable register okay so these are the three control lines so then we have the data lines so these are the simply eight group of data lines so actual information will transfer between your microcontroller and lcd is through the this data line only okay the, that purpose we require in a data okay data lines okay then we have another two pins called anode and cathode so these are simply used to provide in a backlight for your lcd display okay 
so these are the pin configuration of your 16 cross 2 lcd display okay so we have any dot support lcd display do you have any queries uh, you guys have any doubts or queries we can ask me now Sir, enable pill and enable cube. Okay, fine. So, here, uh, just a minute. So, just assume that in your LCD display, so this is your LCD display. So, I am on the first time I am printing some character. Okay, I am displaying a character. Just assume that I am printing a character. So, at the first time. So, in the next time. In the next time, after some time, I, I changed my mind. So I want I want to display the B character. Okay, just assume that I want to print B character on the LCD display. So if you want to change this content, okay, if you are uh, if you are able to change this content, so instead of printing A, you want to print B character. So then we have to make this enable high to low ones. So then only this data will be changed. Otherwise the a uh, the existing character will be the uh, will be in the lcd display so that is the reason so we required an enable so if you want to change or if you want to erase this a character so after erasing we, we will uh, we are going to print the b character on the lcd display so then so we have to make this enable high to low ones so then only it will change a to b character otherwise it will display a character only so that is the main reason we are using the enable register. So here yeah. you got your answer? Yes sir. Okay fine. So then uh, anybody have any questions? So just I will take Arduino board, okay. So under point, so just let me open point, okay. Uh, print here. So just I will show you the interface diagram. So after that, I will go to the simulation part, okay. So just we have the Arduino microcontroller. So this is your Arduino microcontroller. So then we have LCD. So this is your LCD display. So first we will connect ground to ground okay and then VCC to VCC pin or 5 volt pin okay. So this is ground and the second pin is the VCC. The VI characteristic of your LCD display is plus 5 volt. So it will require plus 5 volt for operating okay. So then we have the contrast pin. So we can connect through the variable register for varying the brightness okay so then we have to connect rs pin to any one pin on the arduino microcontroller so like here this is the rs pin and we have rw right so we are going to write uh, we are using this lcd in the right mode so that's why we are making this rw as an ground because so in the right mode we have to make this rw as an zero so that's why we are provided with the ground okay so then we have the enable register so that should be coupled with any one control pin on the lcd disk oh sorry on arduino microcontroller okay so then we have the data lines here we'll use only four data lines okay so d4 d5 and d6 and d7 only we'll use four data line for operation so d4 to uh, any one pin of the Arduino microcontroller similar to the D6 or D5, D6 and D7. Okay. So it can be operates in the two modes like uh, we can operate in 8 bit mode. So we love the 8 bit data lines, right? So we can also operate in the 8 bit mode or 4 bit mode. Here we'll use in the 4 bit mode only. Okay. So that's why we are provided with uh, D4 to D7 data lines. After that, so we require two control lines, so RS and enable for controlling. Okay, so 
so rw is the uh, right or oh, you are making making this pin as and ground because of you are writing the data always okay so this is the interfacing diagram so i will connect say so i will connect this pin to second pin and third pin and d4 to 4 and 5 to 5 and 6 pin to 6 pin on arduino and 7 okay this is my interfacing connection okay so we have to connect uh, a circuit like this okay so then we'll move forward to the uh, simulation part now i'll take bread bow okay uh, this is the Tinker CAD uh, online simulation format. Okay, so using this simulation, uh, we can connect uh, multiple hardwares and you can also uh, code the your program. Okay, so that's why we are using this online simulation. So now I will take LCD display so we can just type the LCD. Okay, so we have the 16 cross 2 LCD display here, so just drag and drop it okay i will connect like this okay so you can see here the first pin is ground second pin is vcc and third pin is vdd so that is nothing but contrast and you have rs pin rw pin enable and d02 d7 are the data lines and we have the led anode and led cathode okay so just we have to connect uh, to the your microcontroller so how you are going to provide the connection just go for the one by one okay so i will connect ground to ground okay this is the ground pin i will connect this to ground so just assume that this is the ground okay so then second pin to vcc i will make it as in red so this is the vcc so then you have the contrast right how you are going to control the brightness using potentiometer or variable register so here one uh, here i will find out the potentiometer okay here we have the potentiometer so that is normal called as a pot okay so just connect one pin to vcc okay and another pin to ground so this is ground and second pin to ground and third pin is the variable pin okay i will connect this to third pin on lcd display okay here so then we have control lines rs rw and enable so i will connect this rs pin to second pin on arduino so see you can see here this is the circuit diagram right yeah. So RS pin is coupled with the second pin and enable is coupled with the third pin and D424, 5 and 6 and 7. So like this. Okay. So I will connect this RS pin to okay. Connect this RS pin to second pin on Arduino. Okay. And I will connect. okay i will take green okay i will connect rw to ground right so directly i will make this as an ground so let's take black color okay we already provided with the black here okay so it is grounded so then i will take enable pin So enable pin is coupled with the third pin on Arduino board. Okay. So then I'll directly move forward to the D fourth pin. Okay, here. So we have the D fourth pin. So I will connect this pin to fourth pin on Arduino. Okay. So here we have the fourth pin. So I will connect this pin to fourth pin on Arduino. and fifth pin to fifth pin on arduino microcontroller and sixth pin to 
sixth pin on Arduino. And seven pin to seven pin on Arduino. Okay, how many do you need? Okay, and then uh, we have the anode and cathode. So just connect the register to the VCC. So just I will take another one register. Okay. So this is the 1K register. So I will connect between VCC and the control pin. So this is the VCC, right? So just take a red line. I will connect it to the VCC and this to the anode pin on LCD display. Okay. So and last one is the okay. Here I will connect to second. Okay. Here. okay and the last pin to ground so uh, let's make it as in black okay uh, this is the uh, circuit connection of your lcd display so that's all so this is the connection or interfacing diagram to your arduino microcontroller okay then we'll move forward to the programming part so here we'll use only uh, inbuilt functions okay we required only two lines for displaying everything okay so uh, we uh, as compared to the other microcontroller except arduino microcontroller we have to code your uh, we have to code the manually for sending the commands after sending the data so we have to code separate code for sending the command and separate code for sending the data so he, here uh, because of the Arduino Pro, uh, Arduino microcontroller, so it will provide inbuilt function. So using that inbuilt function, we can directly display the particular information on LCD display. Okay. So let's say here. So let's open code section. So this is the basic code. Okay. So I'll show you the simulation for the newcomers. Okay. So this is the coding part. So we have to code like this. So after coding, so we can simulate the Arduino microcontroller. So you can see here, it will turn on the 13 LED. So here, so this is the built-in LED on your Arduino microcontroller. Okay. So we are controlling the so inbuilt LED using the programming. So this is the programming. So you are turning on the LED for one second, and you are turning off the LED for another second. So if I changing this delay. So it will work according to the delay. Okay, just I will take 200, 200, and I will start the simulation. So you can see here the LED is blinking faster as compared to the earlier, right? So like, so now I will move forward to the LCD programming. So just here in the previous code, we won't use any inbuilt libraries, right? So here now I will use the inbuilt library called liquid crystal. Okay. So let's here this is the library. Okay, sorry. Okay. Here. So this is the uh, library option. So just click the library. So and you can include the particular library. So here we have the liquid crystal. Okay. Controlling liquid crystal displays. So just include this library. Okay. It is included. So then create an object for 16 cross to LCD display. Okay. So liquid crystal and I will create the object name called as an LCD. So this is user defined name. We can de define anything you want. Okay. Either we can also define your name also. Okay. So here I simply I will use LCD and we have to provide the particular pin number. So what are the pin numbers here? So just we have to provide RS pin okay enable pin okay rs pin first enable pin second and after that followed by four data lines d4 d5 d6 okay d4 d5 
d6 and d7 so we have to uh, give the number in the particular format so first one is rs second one is r uh, enable and third is d4 and d5 d6 and last one is d7 okay so you are coupled with the pin number like 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so i will provide here the first pin is rs second pin is enable and third pin is d4 and fourth pin is d5 and fifth pin is d6 and sixth pin is d6, uh, d7 okay so like that we have to provide the pin so instead of numbers i will provide the pin numbers now okay here so for the reference purpose i will use this syntax okay so here so what is the a pin rs is coupled with so that is second okay so just i will take two and three next four next five six and seven okay these are the number we are connected right you can see here the rs pin is connected to the so here the rs pin is connected to the second pin enable pin is connected to the third pin and d4 to 4 5 and 6 and 7 right so we are also provided in the same priority so 2 third and fourth fifth sixth and seventh okay so then the first one the first step is we have to initialize the lcd okay so that will be in the wire setup section so i will initialize uh, initialize lcd here so what is means so we are created already lcd object so just use lcd okay here lcd dot begin so this is the initialization so lcd dot begin so what kind of lcd we are using 16 cross 2 lcd display okay so this is the meaning so we are initializing lcd with the 16 cross 2 format okay then we can display whatever you want okay so just i will display here lcd dot print okay welcome to abhiyantrix but it will not display whole thing okay so it will not display whole thing because so we have the only 16 characters in the particular line right so here so we have the only 16 character so we are able to display 16 character in per line so here we have the more than 16 character let's see what will happen okay so otherwise so at the starting i will take in a simple character so like welcome okay so then we'll see what will happen so it's not displaying okay just then vary the potentiometer so again it it is not displaying okay okay fine so here i am not connected vcc and ground from the arduino microcontroller right so that's why so here connect ground to ground okay so ground to ground and v five volt to VCC. Okay. So now simulate this core. Okay. So now let's see what will happen. So you can see here. Okay. So you can control the brightness through the potentiometer. Okay. So this is the potentiometer so let's see the value of this potentiometer so what is the value so we have the 250 kilo ohm okay this is the use so just i will take 10 kilo ohm okay so now i will start the simulation so you can see so it will shows welcome okay so you can also count the number okay you can also count the cells here so we have exactly 16 cells on the lcd display in the first row and the second row so totally we have 32 cells okay so this is the uh, first program to printing the information on lcd display okay 
this is the code okay you can see here how much simple it is okay you have record only two lines one line for initialization and another line for direct printing okay and these are inbuilt libraries okay so we can also print anything you want on your lcd display so just write whatever you want you have to include with the double quotation okay your information should be enclosed with the double quotation okay so if you are using um, more than 16 character then see let's see what will happen okay okay no problem so we can execute uh, this program this is the first program okay so to print uh, information on the lcd display or we can also display the hello world okay just like this just change the content hello world and then start the simulation you can see hello world okay so this is the first program this is the first program so then let's see so if the length of the string will increase what will happen okay so now i will type oh, welcome to abiantrix okay or welcome to intrinsic programming okay this is the uh, my string or my statement so this statement will contain more than 16 character right so let's see so we can see here it will be able to display only 16 character right so welcome to enter okay so it will discard it internship okay so you are able to display only the 16 character so now so how we are going to display all character then so okay so because we can also display in the next line also so there is an option called so we can also display the next character in the next row so then how we are going to display the character in the next row okay this is the first row now i will display in the second row okay so just i will take now a beyond tricks and let's see the output so this is the result so then i will display the welcome to in the first row and abiantrix in the second row so then how we are going to do that so using inbuilt function again so just use uh, lcd dot set cursor function so set cursor so this is the function uh, we can ship the particular cursor okay we can print the particular character in the particular position so that will be uh, helpful for the displaying particular character okay so now so in the lcd set cursor function so here the first uh, position or first parameter will indicate the number of column okay this will indicate the number of column and this will indicate the number of row okay on which row you are going to display or which column you are going to display we have to provide in this two parameter okay so now I will provide so zeroth column and the first row so that is nothing but the second row so we have totally two rows 0 and 1 so 0 will indicate the first row and 1 will indicate the second row so and we have the columns total uh, totally we have the 16 columns it will start from 0 to 15 so like that it will start the row from 0 to 1 so okay this means so we are displaying the character in the first column and the second row okay that is the meaning so again i will print in the second line so i will print a uh, welcome to here i will take a beyantrix okay okay you can see here so the in the first row we'll, we are displaying welcome to and in the second row we are displaying a beyantrix let's see so whether it will give the correct result or not okay yep it will give the correct result so welcome to abiantrix okay so we can also ship the cursor position so then now we are going to ship the cursor position now i want to display see here i want to display welcome to in the middle okay in the middle format 
uh, just see so i will start with the on fifth column okay so how we are going to do that so just use the set cursor again lcd dot set cursor so i will start with the fifth position and in the first row okay so this is the meaning so it will uh, start printing or it will start displaying welcome on the fifth position of the first row okay let's see you can see here so it will start at the sixth location because fifth is nothing but zero to fifth so that is nothing but on the sixth column so otherwise we can also shift to the left so like for reducing the number of columns so now i will take three and see what will happen okay it will start at printing welcome on the fourth column okay so now we can also shift the second row also so similar to the first row so we can also control the second row so now we'll see what will happen you can see here so it will print in the middle right so like that so we can control the particular character or you can control the position of the particular character okay so then let's see what will happen if i use this code in the loop section okay now i am using this in the wire setup so that's why you are printing only one time not repeated or more than one time right so if i am printing this character repeatedly what will happen okay so this is the first case so then just i will print welcome okay so just i will print welcome in the while loop section so i will remove i will comment this line okay so just i will comment this line okay just i'm printing welcome so let's see what will happen so you can see it will uh, it will print continuously so and uh, it will look like then a garbage value right so why because you are not erasing previous value so that's why so we are getting a, a noise result okay so let's see for this example I will take another statement so let's see first I will display larger character so let's say so first I will print Abhiyantrix okay okay now so let's see and I will remove this set cursor again So it will print perfectly Abhiyantrix. So now let's see. So after printing Abhiyantrix, so I will print a soft lab. Okay. After printing Abhiyantrix on the same row and the same column, so I will print another statement like a soft lab. So then see what will happen. So we can see here. A beyond tricks a soft right it is not overwritten for that purpose before printing anything okay before printing anything so we can clear the display so then we won't get any false result okay so let's okay let's execute this code again so you can see the garbage value so before printing something so I will use clear function i will clear the lcd display okay so this is abhiyantrix after that so i will clear the lcd display so like this so we are going to clear so using lcd dot clear function so i will clear the lcd display after that i will print a soft lab so then we won't get an any false result here okay a soft lab so now I will execute so you can see here we'll find out the a soft lab right but you won't get an abhiyantrix right so you can see here directly it will showing that a soft lab because you won't provide any delay here okay so in case I will use delay 
so then we will find out the result. So it will display Abhiyantriks, after that it will display the A soft lab on the same column and the same row, right? So instead of you are getting false result, you are getting the accurate when you are using LCD clear function. So just, so I will recommend it that, so before printing anything on LCD display, just use the clear command, okay? Then we won't get any false result on LCD display, okay? So this is the printing on uh, first row and the second row. So we can also display these two. Uh, the, uh, we can also display the character in the two rows simultaneously. So like that. Okay. So we are going to display at the simultaneous. So using the set cursor. Using set cursor, we can display on both sides. Uh, on both rows. So zero comma one. I will display. Uh, intrinsic programming okay intrinsic program programming okay so let's see you can see here intrinsic programming okay so now i'll put this code in the wide loop Okay, let's see what will happen. So we can get the noise result here. Okay, so to avoid this noise result, so just use the clear command. So before printing anything, so just use the LCD dot clear. So here we will get an intrinsic programming but you are sorry with the flash type right so because we won't use a delay here so just use the delay so i'll use 500 so now you can see intrinsic programming on every 0.5 second it will replace okay because we are provided with the loop statement right so you can also use the delay five seconds so now you can see what will happen so now you can see the constant result okay that means uh, every five second it will refresh okay so now we can also display the multiple character on same LCD display so then we'll see how we are going to do that okay so I want to display so this statement so just assume that this statement so what that statement I want to display so welcome to a Beyondrix okay and this is the class for embedded iot okay so i want to print a continue continuous like this so then now we are going to print so just use the uh, combination of the lcd clear and the lcd set cursor and the lcd print functions so using only these three function we can provide or we can print anything on the LCD display. Okay. So now here so just I will use welcome to Abhiyantrix because we are not provided with the 16 columns here. So this is more than 16 character. Okay. Welcome to otherwise okay uh, welcome to Abhiyantrix okay so here I have provided the first line so then after that I will give the delay as two second okay so again I will print another statement okay like this so again I want to clear the LCD display because 
uh, we all have the previous uh, statement right like welcome to abn tricks so we have to erase this content after that so we will print the new content okay so after that i will use this is the class for embedded i would okay so let's see that will use correct result or not okay so we have the error here so okay uh i have missed semi okay double quotation here okay I will start simulate you can see welcome to abhyan tricks after that this is the class for embedded iot so and this will keep on repeating because we have provided this code in the wide loop section right so like that uh, so we can use the lcd display for displaying anything okay otherwise we can also display our bio data like a student name college usn okay so that kind of information we can also display on the lcd display so how we are going to display that so then here i will print the name first okay the student name so let's say take i will pick up the one name from you guys okay so bagya okay that is the name and i will take usn dummy usn okay so like the 4bd or something okay 4bd or 15e cre okay like that so i'll take 410 so this is your usn and then you are from so bagi you are from which college bit college okay bit college so then branch EC ne? Electronics and Communication. Okay, EC branch from EC branch. Okay, I'll take branch. So we can also provide uh, information like this. Okay, just simulate the result. So by yeah, four BD fifteen EC like that. Okay, BIT College EC branch. So either we can also increase the delay here between the delay. So we can uh, just I'll take five second. Okay. Five second and four second. Okay, so it will wait for five second. Then it will update the new uh, information. So like B I T. So we can also provide the name colon or U S N colon like this also. On which format? Uh, if you want to display, so you can display the name. USN and here we also use the college so I'll use college at the first and branch and we can also provide it if you want to display more than uh, this information you can also just copy the this for a uh, file and subcode again we have to paste at the end okay so name is over usn is over college and branch then we can we have dob okay date of birth so then we can also take a place like that okay place of birth or something like that okay so just i will take a dummy here so 5 or 8 or 2 okay 1999 okay or you can say 1996 okay then place i will take dvz only okay dvz okay but then we'll see what will happen the name so by gear usn okay 4 bd 15 ec 410 and then college bit and branch ec and then dob date of birth and place 
okay so like that so we can create an interactive application using the lcd display okay so uh, this is the normal displaying lcd display okay so just we are displaying normal characters right so like a normal statement so first of all you guys have any doubts about the lcd programming now code in the arm lpc 1248 programming so if you want to display simple a soft lab okay just assume that so uh, if i want to display only simple character string called a soft lab so i want to write the code this much okay so that is nothing but if you are uh, i want to write 50 lines of code to display only a soft lab okay so using uh, this is the 8 bit mode so on the tomorrow onwards uh, on the tomorrow class or next class i will show you the 4 bit mode so so here in the 8 bit mode i will use 50 lines of code if you are using 4 bit mode so then this code will be doubled okay this code is increased so because of you are pro, you are using the 4 bit mode so that is the main difference in the 8 bit mode and the 4 bit mode okay so in the 8 bit mode so we are directly writing the data so in the 4 bit mode so what will happen so we are sending the 4 bit on the higher order bits so first we have to send the low order bits and after that we have to send the high order bits so then we have to write the code twice so in the in the programming part we are increasing the complexity while you using while you are using the 4 bit mode in the 8 bit mode so we are directly write the code like this okay this is the 8 bit mode code so just assume so in the other microcontroller so we'll require a uh, more number of lines to display the the simple string or simple characters but in the arduino microcontroller so you can see so you are only using simple lines of codes right so this is the difference or uh, this is the reason why the people or why the most people will choose the arduino microcontroller okay so for the sake of simplicity okay so in me actually uh, just uh, you are displaying the whatever the information we have right so this is the simple displaying text now i will work on the simple project so like uh, so how we are going to update the lcd display based on the some other hardware okay so like here i will take an one led example so we already done with the blinking led code right so along with that blinking led code i will update the status of the led on the lcd display so like so here just i will upload the code just a mini so here i will comment this code Mini. Okay. So just I will take another one LED. So pin mode. So 13 comma output. Right. And I will blink this LED. Okay. So digital right. 13 comma one. And delay. One second. I will do the one second. So and digital right. the so digital right a 13 comma 0 delay of 1000 so now i will execute this code we can see here it is turned on for one second and it will turn off for another second so let's take another led here so just connect this ground to ground I will connect here. This is the ground, right? And this is the control pin. I will connect it to the thirteen. Okay. So now start the simulation. So you can see here it is turned on for one second and turn off for another second. So what is my requirement is I want to update this status on the LCD display. so just to display led on when the led is turned on and display led off when this led is turned off so this is my requirement so that purpose 
so what are the what is the modification i need to do in the code yaradru heltira okay so